hello guys welcome to our blockchain series sorry about last week we were not able to drop videos for you guys and also the live due to technical issues but i promise this time we're going to have live this week and also with today's video you should be able to uh, be empowered with knowledge about blockchain and cryptocurrency so on our today's topic i will be discussing the blockchain node and bitcoin i know you've been you have been hearing about node 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 but you don't know what a node is all about on today's episode i'm going to explain what a node is all about all right um the term node is basically used in relation with blockchain technology and we all know what a blockchain technology is in case you don't know what a blockchain technology is you can check my previous video now to move further a node can be used to create cryptocurrency that is for every cryptocurrency you see today like the bitcoin ethereum they, they all have a node that powers those coins like i earlier said a node is a part of cryptocurrency that is needed to create crypto. So now with this idea of a node, you are beginning to understand that Bitcoin has something that is powering it, which is called a node. And now let me use a general term that you use to understand a node. I believe you all know a computer, like the normal computer you use at home. It might be a desktop or laptop or whatever it is that you can use to network or send out messages or receive messages aside from the mobile device you can use it to interact with a node so now a node is a term in blockchain but in the real life world a node is like a computer you understand so now when when you hear a node just think of of it as a computer that is used to run those cryptocurrency like bitcoin ethereum and several other um, um cryptocurrencies on my list here i have the types of nodes there are basically two types of nodes we have the full nodes the lightweight nodes the full node supports and provides security to the network. This node downloads a blockchain entire history to observe and enforce its rules. So now, let me use Bitcoin as a case study to explain a node to you. Now, for you to run a Bitcoin node, you will need to download the entire history of Bitcoin that's the entire transaction of Bitcoin starting from the day Bitcoin was what created all right talking about Bitcoin you can't compare Bitcoin to other tokens or cryptocurrency we have other cryptocurrency that you don't really you don't need a node to run them you they, they run on that smart, uh, smart contracts we have a lot of them that run on that smart contract so why I'm trying to say this so that some of you that are planning to develop your coin or a token, you don't really need that to create your own token because you can create a token using smart contract without downloading the entire history of Bitcoin. So that is that for that. Now, moving further, each user in the network is a lightweight node. So on a full node, each user is is a lightweight node and the lightweight node has to connect to a full node to be able to participate now like i'm say like i said before this node they are computers connected together so they are all connected to a full node now the difference between a full node and a lightweight node is that a full node for a full for you to run a full node you need to download the entire blockchain history of that cryptocurrency for you to run a full node 
But now, a lightweight node, you don't really need that. All you just need is to connect to the parent node, which is a full word node. So moving further, we have the minus node and what lightning node. All right, the minus node, these miners are classified as nodes. Miner may work alone, which is solo miner, or in groups, which is pool miner. If you have been trading, you must have heard about pool, farm, stake, and a lot of them. Now, a solo man miner uses its own full node in a mining pool. Only the administrator can run a full node, which can be referred to as a, a pool miner's full node. So now we we have heard about block and Bitcoin mining, right? So miners also they run a node in order to mine. We have the solo and we have group. Now a solo miner is more like a single person running his or her own node. It can be in the office or at home. Why group miners? A group of persons connecting their computers together in order to run a node. So I will stop here today in today's episode. Uh, but before I stop, I will round up with uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a digital currency that was created since 2009. So Bitcoin was created 2009 and the white paper came out 2008 so for you to run a bitcoin node you first of all download the entire history of bitcoin and what are the histories they are the transactions the send and receive that goes on on the um, cryptocurrency block which is known as the transactions under the cryptocurrency so you have to download the entire history on a drive in order to run a full bitcoin node all right thank you so much for today's episode see you next week and also don't forget our live on friday by the special grace of god we are going to be here live with my partner and also don't forget to like and subscribe and also don't forget to fill the google form Tell us what you would like us to cover on our next episode, which will be coming up on Monday. Thank you and bye.